I'm joined by a very special guest. I'm gonna put an extra very in there. Mr. Kel P, can we make some noise in the studio? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Are mm-hmm. you awake yet? It's mm-hmm. a bit early, isn't it? I oh, know, but I'm awake. <laughs> You're awake. Yeah, I went to bed very late last night. Really? Yeah. Busy, busy? Yeah. Studio and all that. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Are you one of those people that live, breathe, and eat and sleep studio? Yeah, yeah. I'm a studio rat. Yeah? Practically live in the studio. Yeah. yeah. Have you always been like that? Always like that. Really? Always like that. There's yeah. too much work to do, man. Work, work, everything too work. Too much work to oh do. Oh my days, oh yeah. my days. Well, look, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. Less, Straight less. out the back of Nigeria, Lagos, Prezak. Yes. Born and, Nigeria born and raised? representing. Yes. Yeah? Proper Lagos boy. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> my friends are screaming right now. They love their Nigerians. That's to say the least. <laughs> So tell me a bit about yourself for the ones who may have not heard of you. And if they haven't, then they've been living under a rock because, you know, you've got the accolades. I actually just clocked your tagline whilst we were speaking off air. But for the ones that don't know you, who's Kelpie? I mean, nothing much, though. But Kelpie, my full name is Peter Kelvin. I'm popularly known as Kelpie. Mm-hmm. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria, born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm a music producer. I started producing music professionally in 2017. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, and made a couple hits. I'm sure you all know some. Don't be modest. Yeah. And drop name, drop them hits, baby. And this is where we are today. Ah, <laughs> and not only that, these hits have got you not one, not I know, two, I know. not three, but four Grammy nominations. Exactly. That's incredible. Yeah. How? Describe that feeling to me. I mean, it's a great feeling, honestly. Like, it's it's a great feeling. Right now, I just want to win it as an artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Started off producing and now we're transitioning into artistry, yeah? Yeah. And obviously, you've dropped your single as well, which, how has the response been so far? What? Great. Great? Yeah. Was it bigger than you expected? Exa- it was way bigger than I expected. I mean, I knew it was a great song. Mm-hmm my managers they knew it was a great song big up management yeah studio. they were like heavy heavy on that song and like you're like this is the jam this is the jam i'm like all right mm-hmm. let's go for it and yeah it dropped the response the first day blew up i'm like that's what i'm talking about yeah oh my god there's just so much we can dissect here but let's bring it back a bit because obviously like you said you're proud of you, you you don't make it shy to know you're a lagos boy what was it like for you growing up and how did you get into music how did you start producing um i'm gonna say growing up in lagos will actually Please. develop your mind because mm-hmm. it's the streets it's gonna teach you how to hustle mm-hmm. you feel me and then um i've always been making music way long mm-hmm. as an artist always recording back and forth but i never released anything i was actually in a group Oh, really? Yeah. Not a guy, man. Yeah. Tell yeah. me more. We call ourselves Dynamites. <laughs> hey. What, well, because you went boom? Mm, we're doing our thing. <laughs> I love we're it. We're just doing our thing back then. Yeah. Until in 2017, um, I met Sars. Okay. Yeah, and back and forth, back and forth, a few conversations. And Sars was like, yeah, like, listen, I think you should start making beats. And that was how it happened. Like, the whole of 2017, I was literally living with SARS okay. and yeah he put me on and all of that and in 2018 mm-hmm. I met Brown and Boy and the rest was history yeah yeah from there so at the time was Burner quite big at the time in, in Nigeria when you met him yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. He's, he's always been big I mean as at the time I met him um, Ye was popping mm-hmm. yeah Ye was the um, tune that was really picking up at that time mm-hmm. and I came in the picture in 2018 August and took it from that level to one of that level there he is now yeah because you worked on was it one song on african Jarrett or quite a few 10 songs 10 songs so uh, Bre- that's practically your album then really isn't it yeah. <laughs> that's incredible that's know, one of right? brenner boy's most successful albums i know right and you're one of the geniuses behind it how do you feel like really sitting down like you know like when you switch off you finish working and you look yourself in the mirror do you ever just reflect and, and actually deep like how far you've come because that's that project there alone is incredible yeah i mean right now um back then mm-hmm. i would say i felt 
amazing great excited and all of that but right now i feel like i, I haven't i've just used four percent of my brain really only <laughs> yeah. four yeah because i have a lot inside me right now like that to put out and it's like it's about to go crazy on yeah. the artist side on the production side because it's like it's a whole lot of work my team and i have been putting putting on for the past two years mm -hmm. so like the sound has changed it's mm -hmm. way up now so um and we cannot wait for the world to hear this side of me i can't wait yeah. and we're gonna go into that in a little bit more detail but first can't do it alone can't do it alone <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to put out music finally because you said you obviously was doing actually yeah, before yeah. um one putting the face behind that name mm -hmm. kelpie mm -hmm. second secondly um apart from producing music for other artists mm -hmm. There's some kind of music I want to make mm -hmm. that I record and I pitch it to this artist. I'm like, yo, cut this record. Mm -hmm. And they can't really give me what I want. So I'm like, okay, I think I should do that myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. get me? Like, I can do this. So let me do that myself and like show the world what, what, you're, yeah, what you're capable exactly. of. Exactly. Which is a lot. And I think there you touched on the biggest thing, which is putting your face yeah. behind the name Kelly. Of course, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going to lie to you. Like, people know the name mm -hmm. i go to different places where i hear people even singing the tag mm -hmm. and they feel like the tag is part of the lyrics of the song yeah can you say your tag because it's really nah, catchy come on, man. no you've got no, to say no, it no. i'm gonna I'll, say it then. That it's slide. kelpie vibes <laughs> and you know that's what i'm saying it's mad because your tag is catchy i didn't put two and two together yeah, literally it's... until i was like kelpie it's kelpie vibe it's kelpie vibes i'm like where where did you come up with that because i feel like one of the distinctive things of a producer is their tagline um in 2017 yeah i uh i met someone his name is jay swag he's a producer he had this sexy ass tag <laughs> and i said bro who made this tag for you like where did you get this tag from mm -hmm. uh, i'm like all right cool i need one for myself mm -hmm. and it's like oh I, I could get you one i could make you one and there was a girl in the studio mm -hmm. or in the crib where we're all staying together she's an artist too mm -hmm. see i went to sleep I woke up the next morning, say, oh, Kelpie, I, I got something for you. And they played this. The, my tag is actually longer than that. Oh, is it? My tag is, e -e -e -e, it's Kelpie vibe. So when I heard it, <laughs> I chop up the, e -e -e, I chop it off. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's too long. He said, no. Nope. Yeah, no. And I used this. And to be honest with you, at first, I wasn't really feeling the tag. Really? Yeah, but. But it's so catchy. I realized I'm not the consumer. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm just a creative yeah, I'm the creative, so I uh, played it for everyone when it, in my songs, and they're like, yo, this tag is fire. I left it there, man. Yeah. I, I kept it going. <laughs> it's a distinctive one, yeah. especially on On The Low. I know I keep talking about On The Low and that. But, like, when you shot the video as well, because, like, how is, does it feel like it's been a bit of an adjustment for you? The video for One More Night? Yeah. I was ready. It was given LA. Yeah. It was given Cali vibes. Yeah. To be honest with you, I practice. Um, I'm actually undergoing media training. Okay. By the way, I practice um, for the past three months in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Like listening to the song, performing the song in the mirror, watching myself, recording myself mm -hmm. on the phone and all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when it was time for the video shoot, it was flowing. I was having fun that day. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. The two days we shot the video, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And when I shot a scene, I told the videographer, yo, can I watch the playback? And when I watch the playback, I'm like, damn, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm inspired by what I'm watching because mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, this is fire. I can even do better. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it again. You seem yeah. like you're someone that's always trying to push yourself. Of course you have to push yourself. You got to leave your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. If you had, you want to make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no harm in trying. Like, do it and let's see if you can do it. If it works, yes, then keep going. You have to push yourself. Yes. Yeah. And watching that video back now, how does it make you? Does it really? Has it really sunk in? Like, I'm, I'm doing this now. I'm an artist. Oh, I've not watched that video. You've not watched I it. Don't, I don't like that video. Why? Oh, this is all right. Well, I think we should get into the song. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's play do the it. Song one more night, Kelpie. Okay. Oh, it's given a hit. I smell a hit there, Kelpie. Can you smell Sniff. it? Can you smell it? Yeah. So you said the response has been brazy so far. Yeah, it's been, it's been brazy. I saw that you recently joined TikTok as well. See, 
I'm, he did all of that. Oh, is it? Big yeah. up management, man. Yeah. On time. You see all this TikTok, all these things. They they do them. I, I cannot handle too many things. You need to do videos and have this song playing out on TikTok because oh, yeah. it's a it's a hit. It yeah. is a hit. Yeah. Are you excited to perform it? Hell yeah. Yeah. What? Are you going to be performing it soon? I can't even wait to go on tour. Yeah. Like, what? There's a lot. Don't worry. I know, because you said there's a lot going on. I want to ask, Bully Season, what's that all about? So, <clears throat> the EP drops February 24th. Okay. Five tracks compiled together. Title of the EP, Bully Season Volume 1. Okay. Yeah. Um, Bully Season expresses a lot of how much work I've put in, my work ethic, and what I can do, mm-hmm. and trying to show the world that, listen, I know y'all know me as a producer, mm-hmm. but this side of me is what you guys don't know yet, and you're gonna see it. And also, the songs, I was literally expressing how I feel about women. Okay. Yeah, because I know like there's a lot of women out there, like they, 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 they really put in the work, mm-hmm. and they get judged by other women because they wear expensive things or post themselves on Instagram going to different places having vacations and all of that and their fellow peers feel like oh there's a man doing it for them Mm -hmm. or they got sugar heads and all that but to be honest with you there's some women that actually do it with their money like they grind yeah they put in the work so I'm like literally trying to appreciate women and let them know that listen yeah see me I support you all. Like, I got you. Yeah? Like, I did for all okay. of you. you so, I'm going to ask you then. So, are you one of those men that if a woman is doing that, she's doing it all, she supports herself, do you think she has <clears throat> masculine energy? Um, To be honest with you, I don't even think nothing. Okay. I think if you're doing it for yourself, it's for yourself, which is good. Yeah. Like, if I'm, I am doing it for you, I'm just adding more. You get me, but if you can do it for yourself, do it. Why not? So, what's your type? My type. Hmm. Ah, wow. he's got to think about this. Wow. He's like everyone. Nah. <laughs> well, my type is just special, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's just special. My type is more of the ones who inspire me. Nice. Yeah, you gotta inspire me a lot, mm-hmm. a lot, because I'm a creative. I need. To get inspired all the time, mm-hmm. you gotta inspire me. Yeah, I think that's that's my biggest thing. And you have to be very, very kind, very, okay. very kind. What's very, very kind? Just not just to me, to everyone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what gives you the ick when it comes to females? <laughs> I love this question. Give me another word for ick. Um, like a turn off. Like, what kind of puts you off of them? Turn off. Yeah. Dirty. Ah. That's a turn off. Yeah. Bad hygiene. Yeah. Bad yeah. hygiene. Yeah. That's a good one. I'd like to think. What? Proper turn off. Proper. Yeah. When you talk too much. <laughs> when you talk too much. Yeah, proper turn off. I don't because I don't like to listen to too many things. Only music. Okay. Yeah. So don't say too much. You too don't like a chat like, For me, everything is everything is okay. Like okay. everything is calm. Mm-hmm. Even when there's a problem, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we'll solve it. You have a very calm yeah. aura about you. Yeah. What star sign are you? Dollar sign. Ah! Yeah. I can't deal with you. I don't, I don't, I don't know. When's your no, birthday? I don't know no Capricorn, no Aries. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know all of that. He said, I don't know that, sir. My sign is... Dollar. Fair enough. So, now that you're obviously doing this artistry and you're an artist, yeah. how do you want people to receive you as an artist? I want people to grow with me mm-hmm. the same way my fans grew with me as a producer and watch my growth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want them to grow with me because I would be giving them a lot of great music, a lot of big tunes. Mm-hmm. You get me? So, um, the same way, yo, receive and digest music like take it from me because there's a lot inside me mm-hmm. so grow with me watch me watch my growth and yeah ride on this journey with me yeah i love that let's go together i love that that's yeah. so good so out of all of the people you worked with because you haven't just worked with brandon boy you've worked with rema you've worked with WizKids, you've got some really good names on your on your uh, portfolio 
who has been not your favorite <clears throat> but who has been someone that you've really really enjoyed collaborating with all of them all of them i'm gonna say everybody i've worked with mm -hmm. i'm a fan of their music mm -hmm. before i work with you i need to be your fan okay not a fan of you because mm -hmm. i don't know your personality i know that your music i listen to your music like i'm a huge fan of everybody i've worked with i'm a huge fan of their music mm -hmm. i listen to their songs <laughs> almost every day of my life <laughs> um i'm gonna tell you something yeah mm -hmm. you know at the end of the year spotify used to show this whatever i rapped playlist rap. yeah, the whole song you listen to them there my manager the song he, the most listened song or the most streamed song he had on the spotify mm -hmm. was brown boy last 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 wasn't produced by me okay yeah. mm -hmm. my own was whiskey then bruno mars bruno yeah, mars because i listen to bruno mars almost every day really? yeah so so i listen to like everybody mm -hmm. like so i'm a huge fan of everyone i've worked with i'm a huge fan of their music mm -hmm. and every creative process has always been good mm -hmm. regardless of the ups and down in the business side or whatever at the end of the day mm -hmm. we make good music mm -hmm. so that's what matters to me you get me and, uh, <laughs> and where you know like when people ask that question i'm not going to ask you the question but how do you feel when people because people always like to compare burner boy and wiz and say who's better obviously you've worked with both of them so when people come to you like what what do you think about that when they compare the two and people say like because obviously they're the two biggest artists out, out of nigeria right now but they always get compared against one another how does that make you feel when people ask me i tell them to get out <laughs> yeah, that's not a question for me to answer mm -hmm. like <clears throat> um another man's food is another man's poison mm -hmm. you're not gonna come ask me who is better between burning boy and Wiz. Mm -hmm. bro i love both of them mm -hmm. yeah so don't ask me such questions it's not for me <laughs> yeah because both of them for me they are great yeah in their own ways they're putting in a lot of work yeah i love i them. mean they are the ones pushing afro beats like they the OGs we young kids look up to. Yeah. Get me? yeah but so. you've also played a part in that though when you think about it. Is that right? No, you have. We're gonna give right? you your flowers. To do ten tracks on Burner Boy's album, I'm African Giant is his biggest album, I'm sure of it, in terms of what he's won and the accolades he's got from it. And you played a massive part in that. And I'm very big on producers really needing their flowers because you guys essentially is your song. I'm just doing the Lord's work. You're very humble. Um, I'm just me. <laughs> I like that. What is next for you? Because you said you got the EP drop in. What we what and off air. Now we can talk about what was going on off air about Creed number three. Tell us about. Oh that. <clears throat> yeah, I got the EP drop in, and that's what's next for me right now. Mm -hmm. Like I said, putting the face behind that name, Kelpie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a couple placements. You feel me? Like, you know. I know you don't want to talk too much, but you mentioned yeah. the Creed thing, so we need to know. So you produced the official track yeah, for Creed yeah, 3. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. incredible. Yeah, How that's, did that, that come about? Um, Big shout out to my guy, Please. Buzz. Yeah, the Dreamville, the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in LA. Psh, pull up to the studio. The Creed session is happening. They're making the soundtracks, a couple of soundtracks for the movie. Da -da 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 -da. It was eight rooms. Eight different rooms. I think I was in room seven. Wow. I was the only guy in that whole building in Interscope Studio. That whole building making Afro beats. Wow. You go to room one, you hip hop. Go to room two, do, 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 trap. Go to room three, do, 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 do. and when you come to room seven, <laughs> yeah, the African thing. I was the only guy making the African thing. So everyone was coming to my room and was like, yo. This place sounds different. Mm -hmm. This place sounds different. And some are gonna say, yo, um, do you mind if I drop some bars on this? I'm like, yeah, do your thing. Do you mind if I drop some bars on this? And I'm like, okay, this place is looking lit. Mm -hmm. I gotta like, get it going. Yeah, shout out to Bars, Dreamville. Like I said, they're my family. Yeah, they held me down in LA, especially my boy Bars. And yeah, we made a lot of songs, kicked a lot of things together and when we submitted the record to Creed and the call came in. That's incredible. This one, this this one. I'm like, I told my manager. I'm like, we lit. 
publishing way up. Ah, <laughs> the price. The has publishing is way up. <laughs> Love it. All right, yeah. Tell All my publish, money money. Tell my publishers to increase the bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love I, that. I just, I just bag the bag. Yeah, <laughs> that's the bag of all bags. I know. Yeah. And when does the film come out? Do you know? March twenty third. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so a lot to celebrate. Yeah, a lot to celebrate. Way more, a lot of things, but we're just gonna keep this. Keep this on the low, you feel me? Well, you definitely have to come back. Yes, yeah, manager. I'm looking at you. We definitely have to bring him back. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank same you so here. much for joining. And Thank you for having me. Where can the people find you? Instagram, Kelpy Vibes. Twitter, Kelpy Double E. The rest, managers knows. They operate the accounts. I don't know. Ah, yeah. Thank you so much, You're Kelpy. Welcome. We will be right back. <laughs>